Welcome back! In the previous part, we finished off Elise's Chapter 4. So now let's move on to June's Chapter 5. Begin. What's it called then? Where dreams once thrived. Ah yes, we're dealing with Celsius, aren't we? Celsius? The ice spirit climb is quite intense here. Yeah. You thought it might make you feel a little more at home. It is quite pleasant. We're ready to show you those places you remember. Any preference for the order? Under their current names, the areas are the Kajara Sea Falls, Fenmont, and Fort Gondala. I'll leave it to you. But just make sure Fort Gondala is last. Oh, why is that? You asked if I had a preference, and I answered. Fort Gondala is a military installation. We should probably ask Rowan to get us permission to visit. Good idea. I'll give him a call. In the meantime, let's start by visiting the other two. So where to first? Take me to Kijara Sea Falls, or this Fenmont of yours. Let's go to Fenmont. Because I know Kijara Sea Falls has a skit, at least. Um, I don't know. No idea where to go in here. Probably here. Right, so where have we got to go in here? Aha! Uh -huh, so we head for the palace. We've only been into the palace once in this entire game, haven't we? Although we only went into it once in the first game. When you think about it, it just feels like it's a an area that's not been used that much. What a strange little city they've built here. There wasn't a building in sight last time I was here. Just an endless field, perfect for watching shooting stars. Wow, that sounds nice. People used to say that if you wished upon a shooting star before it vanished, your wish would come true. The human who brought me here loved those silly superstitions. He taught me all sorts of them. Like what? Hmm. Hmm. I like R1 better still. Those two have developed quite a rapport. Indeed. That's Jude's gift. He can make friends with anyone. I'm always amazed at his ability to put me at ease. Celsius taught me a 500-year-old method for making wishes come true. Want to give it a shot? A spell for granting wishes? Interesting. That does sound like the sort of thing humans would enjoy. Let's try it. Weird zooming. Here, you move your hands like this while you make your wish. Hmm, intriguing. Yeah. Did you ever make a wish with anyone, back in the day? I don't recall. We've made our wishes. Shall we move on? Wait, what were they? I w Oh, didn't mean to interrupt that. But I will. Kajara Seafalls. Hopefully we'll hear the end of that. Um, mm, yeah, we'll keep it, these. Guess we don't hear the end of that. Oh, well. That's a nice breeze. I could stand here all day. What is, like, going on about the breeze? Oh, we should really enter from the other side. Right, so. The carrot entrance. It's close to where we should be. I've interrupted that one as well. It's like, oh, dear. Um, clearly the wrong way. Yeah, there we go. So it's that way. That's any cats around that I haven't found yet. So I know there was one here, but I think I already got it a while ago. Been playing it. Yeah, you can see it on the map that I've got it. Oh, god damn it! Load it then. Look at the load times in these battles. I've still got the guns from the previous part. Uh, let's team up with Mila here. Oh. Oh, we nearly got level up but just, just not enough. Not enough for a level up here. Let's go. Hey, jump. There we go. It's like, jeez, just let me jump down. It's not as bad as the jumping in Final Fantasy 15. As, as we all know, that was really bad. Like, just trying to interact with anything made me jump. God. 
Ah, I'll be there, yeah. We're near enough there. We're near enough there. Ooh, elementium thingies. This is just as I remember it. Cool and relaxing. So it's always been like this? They say that couples who stand at the top of the falls develop an intense bond for each other. Daredevil lovebirds used to scramble up there all the time. One man in particular was persistent in inviting me as well. <laughs> a human man? Yes. Of course, as I am a spirit, I did not accept. But he refused to give up. Turning him down was a chore. I see. It must be an important human custom. Actually, I've never heard about it. Hmm. Then perhaps it's fallen out of practice. Shall we give it a go? Yes, why not? And you needn't worry about slipping. Undine will make sure your fall isn't fatal. Not fatal? My nostalgia is satisfied. You may do as you please. All right, then we'll be back in a jiff, okay? Are those two always like that? <laughs> yes. Yes, they are. They do seem very close. Interesting. It feels like only yesterday that he and I talked here. Has it really been 500 years? Clearly misses him. You should, you should have gone along with whatever he said. <laughs> we went all the way to the edge. Maxwell, I didn't think you'd actually go through with it. The view was worth the trip alone. And you should have seen Jude. Mila, I told you to pretend that never happened. Oh, that's right. I quite enjoyed it, to be honest. But if you found it upsetting, I shall suppress the memory. Well, in that case... You don't have to forget it, but just keep it between us, okay? Very well. It shall be our secret. <sighs> Well, that was certainly fun. On to the next stop. It's like, dear, dear, dear. Yeah, Celsius should have gone along with what the guy wanted in this regard, at least. So it's like, Clenny just wanted to show her how much he cared about her. And like, Shirley, 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 Shirley. She clearly cared about him. I'm waiting to see if there's a skit. There's a skit. Alright, I guess there's not. It might be in our next location, which is Fort Gondala. Which is the question mark. So how do I get to the question mark? So I need one of those green marks next to it. Do I have one of the green marks next to it? I have the high road, so there we go. Run through as quickly as possible. Right, so Fort Gondala is why I'm after it. There's only one way to go in here. Isn't this the place where it's like... like there's a lot of Gavin stuff going on. That's what I remember from the previous game, because I, I actually think that to Sarah, some of the stuff I've been going on about Gavin. Now, Gavin is prevalent in this series, but we don't know who Gavin even is, or was, or could be. Hmm. I wonder if Gavin was from a fractured dimension. That might explain a few things. Like, they're searching for Gavin, but they can't find him because he's not from this dimension. Surely, hmm, shouldn't there be a Gavin in every dimension when you think about it then? So where's our Gavin? Maybe he's got a different name in this dimension. Ugh, just look at this eyesore they built. But this has to be the place. I'd never forget the mana flowing through here. Why is this place special to you? Because this is where I met him. Who? The first human I ever met. Have you heard of a man named Howe? That name sounds familiar. Wait, you can't mean Dr. Howe. Isn't he the head scientist who laid the foundation for spirit arts? If that's the case, his inspiration must have been... Probably me. We even lived together for a while. He insisted. That was a weird zoom in and noise. 
It is like, huh? Jude's response there is like, how? Wait a minute, that sounds familiar. The amount of times you went on about him in the first game, you should have recognized the name straight away. Jeez. Wait, who's Dr. How? He was a spirit scientist who lived approximately 500 years ago. He's like the father of spirit arts. Even before humans' new spirits existed, we'd intuitively been able to channel them, but Dr. Howe suspected their existence. He theorized they were beings who converted mana from human mana lobes into spirit arts. Apparently, he confirmed his theory by making contact with the physically manifested spirit. I never imagined it was Celsius. Dr. Howe's theories spearheaded and eventually led to the fundamental arts of spirit channeling. He laid the entire foundation for the age of spirit arts. You make it sound like he was some noble historical figure when really he was just a lovesick fool. Always finding an excuse to get close to me, trying everything he could to woo me. Wait, wait, Dr. Howe hit on you? Have all of these locations we visited been places you spent with Howe? Yes. He used to drag me everywhere, always talking passionately about his dreams for the future. The way most humans do with their friends and lovers. <laughs> but ultimately, humans and spirits are different creatures. Do you truly believe that spirits and humans can coexist peacefully? I believe it. In fact, I plan to prove it. We have vowed to do everything we can to accomplish that goal. Right? Well then, in that case... I think that we should put your vow to the test. Seems a bit strange to have a boss fight randomly at this point as a result of that, but... Okay. Why must you remain so stubborn? Fine by me. We... I don't swords as well. Still win. We do need to change over to fire arts, obviously, so let's see here. Crimson Fury. We already had Crimson Fury out. No, oh, it's just Crimson Fury that we've got. I'll just have it twice. That guy just keeps making me fly up in the air. Oh dear, oh dear. Should have really had some food buff before this, just that I completely forgot that this was going to be the fight we had. Frame rate is just terrible once again. We don't like the frame rate in this game. Again, needs a HD remaster, that would solve it. This is the only Tales game I remember that has frame rate issues. Yep, let me do stuff, thank you. Lovely. I'm gonna get our chromatis up to three before we use it. And get the most out of it. This other thing is annoying me though. It keeps just interrupting me, it's like, can you just not bunch up together. Would be nice, please. Hey. Let's go, go with the chromatis at this point. Oh, we nearly got her. That should be it. No? Oh! There we go. Right, take out the big thing now. Conserve your energy. That's what I'm doing. Look at ATP left. I mean, what even is this? What's it called? Aqua Dragon. Enslaved. How was this whole thing about like, not enslaving spirits and then she's got something that's enslaved? How does that work, Celsius? Something tells me. You're all talk. Let's get some TP going at least. Get this thing dead quicker. You meant to hit it when you do that. Mila. Recharge! Gotta focus. 
That should be enough. I don't want to waste any TP or anything. I don't have to. This is proof of our vow. I hope you can finally understand. <laughs> no, I've sur I've got to get Still an stronger. odd way to prove I it. Know you can it's still standing. <sighs> Mila! I think not. Ah! Look out! Mila! Are you... are you okay? Jude, why would you do this? I just can't stand seeing you hurt. I wouldn't do this for just anyone, you know. Don't you see that? Jude, you idiot. Just look at them. <laughs> Let me tell you, that idiot right there is every bit the fool Hal was. Jude, Maxwell, you might be able to accomplish our vision. You have what it takes to go and finally create the world that Hal and I always dreamed of. Um, she went and died. How are you two? Get a room, you two. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm sorry about that. Celsius. We never got to talk with her about anything besides her memories. It doesn't matter. Celsius and Dr. Howe have given me the lead I needed. This might be the key to resuming my spyrite research. Balin, it's Jude. I may have found a way to complete the spyrite project. What? Seriously? Yeah. It'll take a while to explain, though. First things first, Jude. You need to get your wounds treated before telling any long stories. Okay. Maybe we can borrow Drissel's manor in Sherilton. They are so in love. Right. The Lord's Manor in Sherilton. What I find odd. Such foolishness. This really makes me question your priorities, Jude. Huh? Are you mad at me? There's a there's a fly buzzing around. Go away! Go away, fly. Yes, what I find out is these guys were just hanging about while this fight was going on. You could have helped, you know. Fine. Fine. See if I care. See if I care. I do care. Quite a bit. Right, so, to the manor. Don't know why we've got to go to the manor, though. It's like, may as well just head back to the whole way to the um, research base thing. What's it called again? Can't remember what it's called at all. I really shouldn't have had. That's Coca-Cola. Got burps forming all over the place and my stomach feels a bit bit odd ever since yesterday. It's terrible. I had to add something to eat that was just did not agree with me. It's bad. It was bad. Hold still. I can't treat your wounds if you keep squirming. I told you, I'm fine. I already gave myself first aid. Now now. Let's hear your breakthrough for the Spyrite project. No, oh, maybe this isn't a good time. Yeah, maybe. Balin, thanks for coming. Wild wyverns couldn't have kept me away. Now, what's this revelation of yours? Well, Spyrites are essentially just spirits, right? Even once they become Spyrites, they still have their own minds. So instead of trying to control them, we should be asking for their cooperation. Asking for their cooperation? How exactly? That's the thing. It's the same way Rizemaxians do it every day. Uh, of course. 
What we need to do is get some, like, brain surgeons, open them up and install some artificial mana lobes. And you figured out the method? Sometimes you get so close to something that you don't even see it. It's spirit arts. Ah, yes. The process in which spirits perform arts for humans in exchange for our mana. It presumably requires some form of communication to form a contract. So, spirit arts are actually a conversation of sorts. Dr. Howe was originally trying to communicate with spirits when he invented spirit arts. It must be that the arts contain within them a message that's sent to the spirit. You're right! We picked up on some incomprehensible system of signals when we were analyzing the spirit arts process. If it turns out to be an encrypted spirit language, it just might be what we're looking for. If we decode it and apply it to spyrites, we'll even be able to make requests of the great spirits. Can you imagine that? I'll analyze the signals immediately. Leave everything to me. Hey, impressive work there. I didn't do anything. It's all thanks to Celsius. You inherited the possibilities that Howe once envisioned, and that will be the key in leading us to a brighter future. You humans really are something. Thank you for everything. I will make sure that your dream comes true. You took it to the window? That seems strange. But there we go. We found a way to the future now. Are they gonna say anything? That's the question. We'll head towards Mila though. We'll, we'll see if that actually opens up anything on our way to Mila. But we won't be doing Mila's in this part. Obviously, that will be the next part. We'll just see if anything pops up at all. Cause it seems strange that I'm not getting anything now. Maybe my affections, etc. are too big now. It's a strange way of putting it. I can't make coherent sentences these days. It's very strange. I don't know what's going on. Right, so where is it? I'm, I'm looking for... Not swap members. Looking for affinities. There we are, that's what I'm after. No! No! It's, I, I was expecting it maybe like it was full or something like that, and that's why we weren't getting anything, but no. It just seems to be completely... that We've not hit another heart. Oh well. Right, so, I guess that's where we'll be ending this part then. In the next part, we'll be carrying on with Mila's... Chapter 6, I think it is? We'll see you then. Ta-ta for now.